Hi, good morning, Robert Medlin here. Uh, let me just uh, give you something today that's going to be a great blessing to you and could be a great blessing to many people. Uh, how to pray for an effective way and a powerful way to pray and for Jesus uh, to heal um, neck problems, uh, shoulder problems, arm problems, um, upper back problems. Uh, this is something my wife and I, when we first uh, found out about that Jesus was still doing miracles, the first thing we, we did was we started just praying for each other, praying for ourselves. And uh, one of the things that we did uh, was whenever we would have a back problem or something like that or a back pain, uh, we would, as I've had, had other videos about this, we would pray, we would check our legs, sit in a chair, stick our legs straight out, and uh, and then pray for our uh, our legs. If one leg was longer than the other, pray that it would be adjusted. We've seen countless miracles praying for others like that, but for ourselves, we pray for the, we pray for ourselves this way all the time. Whether we're praying individually or whether I'll get uh, my wife to pray for me or I'll pray for her or whatever, but uh, just sitting in a chair holding your legs straight out and one leg longer than the other one, you just pray and and uh, ask Jesus to, to heal whatever's gone on in your back or wherever the problem is and you, and you can just sit there and watch your legs grow out to be the same length and we usually look at the ankle bone and doing with the and dealing with problems with the lower back and and other issues in the back whatever but I want to talk specifically about uh, the upper back and the neck today so many people suffer uh, from pain in these areas and so um, uh, what we learned was that, uh, and also through being exposed to ministries who, who had a lot of experience in doing this and praying for miracles for people around the world, uh, and and work with doctors and and uh, to explain what's happening because uh, uh, one of the things that that I'm going to teach you today is if you just hold your arms straight out, stretch out your shoulders, your fingers should come together and they should be the they should be the same length. I mean, they're, but if but if you've got a problem in your neck or your upper or your shoulders in this area, a lot of times you'll look and you'll see if you hold your arms out, you'll see that one that one arm appears to be shorter than the other one, and that could be caused by a skeletal deform uh, being deformed in some way, uh, nerves attacking uh, your spinal cord that's causing uh, your your spinal cord to twist and do do whatever. Uh, but nerves pinched or whatever and so what we do is just hold our hands out and just pray and ask Jesus to to put that put that spine back into place and so we just sit there and watch and you can you can just see as you pray you can see that 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 your arms will grow out to be the same length as the other they'll move out to be the same length as the other which means that whatever problem that was that was occurring in your in your neck or your spine or whatever um, has been adjusted and so in fact, what brought this to mind to do this video today was was uh, last night I was having a problem with with pain in my shoulder that was radiating down uh, into my side, and so uh, I just prayed this way, and and it was it was off. You know, I held my arms straight up. You know, you can hold your arms straight up like like this above your head, and you can feel, or you can hold them straight out like this. So so whenever I checked, I found that that one of my arms one of my arms was like this hands were like this so I just prayed uh, for that to go back into place and so it adjusted and so uh, the pain diminished and so I just kept doing that whenever there was any the pain increased or whatever I just kept doing that it kept diminishing it and finally the finally it moved it kept diminishing and moved over to the other side it's a, the demons are the source of all sickness and disease uh, you know they can sit there and pinch a nerve and uh, and do whatever they're going to do to cause problems in organs and whatever else and and of course with doctors we can come in and and uh, and give freedom through surgery or through other uh, things through drugs or whatever to to uh, limit the effects on those nerves but really it's an evil spirit causing these things and so what happened is this this pain just uh, just migrated from here over to this shoulder and I just kept praying whenever I thought of it and had a pain I just would hold my hands up like this, hold my arms up like this, just stretch them out. I could feel whether they were off or not, and just, if they were off, I would just pray. And so, uh, over the period of, I went to sleep, got up this morning, still a little bit of, a little bit here, but they're just totally gone now. So, and that's what has to happen is 
is when you pray, sometimes the pain is going to leave instantly and you'll be completely set free and that's it. Sometimes you may have to pray over and over again uh, because you're resisting it. You're standing against it. You're resisting it. You're saying, no, I'm not going to permit this. Uh, the Bible tells us to resist the devil and he will flee. I'm not going to put up with this. I, I resist this. I command you to leave. And so uh, we can pray for each other that way. We can pray for, pray for ourselves this way. So uh, we've seen astounding miracles doing this that are, that are more than just uh, a misalignment of the spine. Uh, a young man came to me one time and and uh, he had heard about miracles and somehow and and he said that uh, he had a congenital effect. One of his hands was smaller than the other one. And so he asked if, if I could pray that his hands would be the same size. And so uh, I said, sure. So I had him hold his hands out just like this. And so I could see, you know, I could look at the hands. One hand was smaller than the other one. It was shorter than the other one. And so, oh, great. So I just prayed and asked Jesus to to recreate that the missing part of that parts of that hand uh, all the bones and everything just cause everything to 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 be there that wasn't there and cause the hands to be the same length well just in just uh, the man the young man's holding his arms out like that and all of a sudden he said oh there's oil all over my hands and oil was drift dripping off of his hands and so then he put his hands back to, together and they were exactly the same size so Jesus does miracles beyond our our uh, comprehension, but there's, uh, but this back and neck problem is something that I want to really address today. So you can be free of this. You can help set people free from back and from neck pain and and uh, shoulder pain, uh, upper back pain, just through this uh, learning how to pray uh, and having faith. But and and I think just being able to see that there's a problem, something you can say, oh, okay, I've got a problem, and you. And you focus on that and just say, Lord, I just ask you to heal that. And so the fact that you're focusing on it, you can see it. And you can just, you can just witness it. Your, your arms grow, go out to be the same length. And a lot of times people call that growing out arms and legs or whatever. But really, it's, it's just the Lord putting your skeleton back into place and, and putting everything, uh, making it the way it should be. So no matter what kind of a problem you're having, uh, uh, you can get someone else to to pray with you and agree with you, but but just the the real simple. This is very simple. It's easier even than praying for for uh, you know when your legs are off, when your one leg is, appears to be shorter than the other one, that causes lower back pain and and um, other things too. Any kind of any time I feel any kind of a symptom of infirmity, the first thing I do is I check to make sure my legs are the same length. I check to make sure my arms are the same length. What I'm doing is I'm checking to make sure that my spine is not being uh, attacked by the devil uh, to cause some kind of a spirit of infirmity. So whether it's pain or whether it's some you feeling sick or whatever, the first thing you do is check this because all the nerves that go uh, to every organ in your body, to uh, to every to all throughout your body, go through the spinal cord. And so to me, that's where the enemy is attacking. Is he's 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 attacking uh, nerves in the spinal cord. So, so uh, Jesus has given us this simple thing. You know, if you'll be like a little child and receive this like a little child, you'll see miracles in your own life, and you'll see miracles when you pray for others too. So, just want to just uh, repeat that again. If you're having any kind of a, a neck problem, just hold your arms out, stretch, just stretch them out. You can see whether you can do it right now. Stretch them out and see if they're the same length. Mine are the same length. You can you can see they're. They're identical, the same length. Hold your hands above your head, stretch them out, put your hands together. You can see whether they're the same length again. So if they're not, you can just pray and ask Jesus to just straighten your spine up and cause uh, whatever that is the problem to go away, uh, to be healed, and for your arm to be adjusted. And so um, that's something that every Christian can do, but it takes faith. It takes the encouragement. I'm encouraging you to do this. Sometimes you have to see other people do this. Um, that, uh, uh, that that builds your faith, uh, but so astounding miracles can happen through this through this type of praying. Uh, Charles and Francis Hunter, the people that were were our mentors in this, um, they uh, uh, they're I don't know if they're even still alive now, but uh, they were in a meeting in Florida one time, and a and a child came up 
uh, about 12 years old, I think, and and they asked asked him what they wanted, what he wanted Jesus to do for him, and he said, he said, I'm, my thumb was cut off, and I want a new thumb, and so he had had some kind of an injury and cut his thumb off, and so uh, they just held the thumb out there in front of him so they could compare it with the other thumb, and so you have this nub here, you have the nub here, and then you have the the thumb, and so. So he was just holding that up there. So when he, when they first started praying, it looked kind of like this. And so uh, what happened was as they began to pray, and there's a, a group of people in standing in front of the church, maybe 15 or 20 people standing in a circuit, circle watching this. And so as they stood there in a circle, they're looking at this boy's thumb, and all of a sudden a blue arc formed the shape of a thumb where the missing thumb was. And so he's holding this thumb up, a blue arc forms the shape of a thumb and then over a period of 45 minutes the thumb grew out to fill that blue arc and so 15 or 20 people are standing around watching this miracle take place and and we've done similar things to that and had similar experiences it's pretty awesome to sit there and watch a miracle just unfold before your very eyes and so uh, this missing thumb was restored completely healed in front of many many witnesses and so um, uh, the main thing is is that this happens quite a bit where your spine will go out of place and so when your spine goes out of place uh, you'll see that effect where the where the leg will be one leg will be shorter than the other appear to be shorter than the other and you can do that by checking your ankle bones and see see where the ankle bones stretch your stretch your legs out and you can see where the ankle bones come together and if the ankle bones are, if one of them is sticking way out here, uh, then you know that there's some kind of a skeletal problem. So you just pray and ask Jesus to cause those legs to be the same length. And so causing the legs to be the same same length means that the skeleton is is straightened out. Whatever was causing the problem is straightened out to cause the legs to get back uh, to be the same length. And so many times you'll see people, uh, they will get lifts in their shoes because of this, because they have one leg that's shorter than the other. I can't tell you how many times uh, that, that we have seen uh, people that, that had a short leg that wore a lift that were prayed for and their leg grew out and they had to throw the lift away. They had to get rid of the lift. And so it doesn't matter whether this is a temporary attack, uh, just a spirit of infirmity, whatever it is, or whether it's been a long time issue. Uh, we had one, one man that came to, that, that we were teaching about this, his father uh, had been wearing a lift all of his life. And so when he would get suits made, he would have the suits made and the tailor would make one leg, one leg about a half and three quarters a half to an inch uh, shorter than the other ones. And so he had all these suits that had been made over, over, the, over the years. And so we taught this, this young man, you know, how to pray. I said, we'll just go home, you know, and hold his legs out. And we showed him, you know, and so he goes home and prays for his dad and his dad's leg grows out to be the same length as the other one. Now his suits don't fit. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a miracle. That was an awesome miracle too. Somebody that had never experienced a miracle. This young man we were teaching about this had never experienced a, a miracle like that in his life. Of course he had had answers to prayers, but he experienced a, a miracle he could see with his eyes. And so uh, it was pretty funny, but it, it, it was pretty expensive too. He had to go get all those suits adjusted, hopefully. But uh, uh, so this is something that's been given to every Christian. We can, Jesus... Jesus will back us up if we use his name and have faith. And just the very act of seeing yourself misaligned, just sit down, hold your arms out, and, and see if one leg is, or if one, one arm, one finger sticks out past the other one. It's easy to see. And then you can just hold, keep holding them out there and pray. Just ask the Lord to straighten your spine out, cause those arms to be the same length. And so Jesus will do it for you. And this will build your faith. And so Jesus will do this for you. And uh, you can get other people to, to pray for you this way. You can pray for other people this way. Uh, and you will see miracles. You'll see people being set free from pain. You'll be seeing people set free from infirmities of all kinds. And uh, from from uh, if, if people have flu symptoms, the first thing to do is check. If you, if you get some kind of, feel like you're having a flu symptom, check. To check your, check your arms and legs just to see if they're the same length because uh, just the spine is being attacked. Uh, the, these flu symptoms are coming in and the spine is being attacked and so the nerves within the spine are being attacked so 
um, uh, a lot of ministries have had have had doctors travel with them and and be with them in their ministries to verify these miracles and things. It's just Jesus Jesus works with us like little children, and we have to have we have to be like a little child and receive these things like a little child. Uh, and and I know it because you're listening to this video and you're still listening and engaged at this point. Just being like a little child to do things and let Jesus do miracles for you. It's just an awesome, wonderful, wonderful thing that 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 Jesus will do. That you can experience His touch all the time, and uh, and and be set free and not have to deal with all kinds of infirmities that that sometimes people have to deal with for long periods of time. You can get rid of those. Uh, and you can pray. And so, what if you pray and the and your arms are off and and they go back together? And what what if you pray and then you check and 15 minutes later and they're off again? Well, what do you do? Well, you just pray again. Well, how many times do you have to pray As, until it until it stays until it doesn't go go off anymore? You're just going to have a lifestyle that you're going to keep your body aligned. You're going to keep your your spine aligned through praying for your arms and legs. You're going to keep your spine lined up and your nerves free in your body, and you're going to experience a lot more freedom from infirmities and freedoms from flus and freedoms from this pain and that pain and this injury and that injury and and uh, this nerve problem, that nerve problem. You're going to you're going to experience freedom from all these things just by doing these simple things, little simple things that a child can do, and and children can do this too. So um, I know this. Uh, if, if you're if you're with me still, uh, uh, this will encourage your faith to to do this. If you're having an uh, and right now, in fact, if you're having a problem with pain in your shoulders or neck, uh, just hold your hands out, stretch them out, and if there's if there's a one of the arms or if, if one of the hands looks shorter than the other, one of the arms looks shorter than the other. Uh, I'm going to pray right now, Lord Jesus. I just ask that you would cause the spine to go into place and cause every nerve to be released and cause that the arms to the hands the arms to be adjusted to be the same length in the name of Jesus and hold your hands up above your head stretch them out and hold them together put them together if they're off would do the same thing Lord Jesus do it right now Lord Jesus I pray that you would just again cause the everything to go into place all the vertebrae all the everything to be in place the spine to straighten out in the name of Jesus to cause these these arms to be adjusted to be the same length in the name of Jesus. It's just that simple. And Jesus said, so I'll do it. He said, if you ask me anything, I'll do it. Jesus said in John 14, if you ask me anything, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do whatever you ask in my name, that the Son may bring glory to the Father. You may ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. And so that's what we're doing here is we're asking Jesus to do these things for us. But he, t he takes great delight when when the, when the his disciples came back from... from uh, uh, ministering one time and they said Lord even the demons submit to your name Jesus just was re Jesus just rejoiced and said Father thank you for revealing this this to this 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 wonderful authority that, that you've given in my name to these little children thank you Lord for for revealing this Jesus takes delight in us taking advantage and so any problem that you have uh, in your shoulders your neck we're, we're going to pray for that right now uh, I want you to stretch your arms out if if they're if they're off. In fact, even if they're together, we're going to pray because sometimes you'll, for some reason, maybe a nerve's being released or something, one arm will grow out as you pray and then come back. And so right now I'm going to pray, Lord Jesus, I pray that every nerve would be released, every pain would leave the person watching this video, that their arms would be adjusted, their spine would be adjusted in the name of Jesus. Thank you for doing it, Lord. You said, if we could ask you anything, you'd do it. Thank you for doing it, Lord Jesus. So, put this into practice. Don't forget about it. You'll be, you'll have freedom from from nagging issues and pain and all kinds of stuff that uh, that that you would normally have to deal through, deal with through medication or whatever. That um, that you'll be able to just deal with it as it comes up. So that's Jesus has given us. He said, those that believe will lay hands on the sick in my name and they will recover in the name of Jesus they will recover so uh, put this into practice you'll have a lot of fun and it's just so wonderful to just see yourself your your spouse your family your loved ones your friends uh, being set free from demonic attacks that are causing them pain 
and infirmity and weakness in any area of their body. So uh, just uh, uh, look forward to hearing the reports. You know, uh, be sure to put your comments uh, of your experience. I'd love, I'll read all of those. I'd love to see them. Well, God bless you and have a wonderful day. Amen.